whole lot left. We have sizes <laughs> 6 through 10. Let me just be really honest. If you saw a little bit earlier, we already sold out of the cuff bracelet, and many of those items are going to sell out pretty quickly because they are limited and obviously very popular. This one is terrific. Tell us why you decided to do a big, bold ring. Like I love my cocktail rings. I always tell everyone at any given time you can open up any purse I'm carrying, and there's always a cocktail ring in there. <laughs> is it really just tossed Always. In? And I'm not, I'm not kidding. This is the one that's currently in my purse. It's so easy. It's so great. Because mm -hmm. half the time, I'll go out of the house. I'm like, oh, I just feel like I didn't have time to put myself together. Open up my purse. Oh, but here's a cocktail ring. <laughs> and I so slip it true. on. And I'm telling you, I finished off my outfit, and it makes a difference. We were like, oh, she thought about that. It's like, no, not at all. <laughs> but it looks like I did. Your stash of spare jewelry. <laughs> right, exactly. But I love big, bold cocktail rings. I love the dome. I love the airiness of this. I love that when I look down at it, it looks great. And from the side, when people see it, it looks great. Yeah. And most of all, like we were just talking about, it's comfortable. Mm, I think a lot mm. of people are scared to wear the big statement cocktail rings because they think, oh, well, I'm working all day. I'm using my hands. What's it going to feel like? Honestly, it's so smooth. It's so comfortable. And that's how it should be. Yeah. And I'll tell you what surprised me the most, how balanced it is. It is. A lot of them, you're going to see, this has got a big arch to it. You, you know, this is not a really over. flat. Yeah. yeah. And I kept thinking it was going to flop like one side or the other. That's how well made it is. It is extremely well balanced. And I like the fact that you did a little bit of a torque to it. You know, you just didn't do your typical, okay, just do a dome across the top right, of the finger. The... You exaggerated the dome yeah. and then added a torque. I love that. I it just too. reminds me of old fashioned cocktail rings, yeah. old fashioned Hollywood glamour have that anyone been... can have now. And I'm sure living in Hollywood and LA, and obviously with your dad and the family background, you've been exposed to some incredible jewelry um, out there, right, over the years? Uh, well, in my mother's house alone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she has the most phenomenal jewelry collection you could ever have. And I just would stare at it when she was getting dressed when I was a little girl. I was just in awe. Wow. And um, she would say, oh, one day, you know, you're going to wear all this. And then one day I thought, no, you know what? Everyone should be able to wear this that's because, great. you know, you, you should be able to look like a million bucks without spending a million bucks. So yeah. that's what I've tried to create. That's awesome. Do you find that you have influences from your, the time when you were a child and the Absolutely. jewelry that your mother used to wear or the jewelry that she owns? A lot of my inspirations come from my mother's jewelry because I love vintage jewelry. Yeah. So, you know, I was obsessed with her snake chains from the 70s and just everything. It's funny how everything comes back in. Isn't and the great pieces are always timeless. You know, my mom, she was always, she had a lot of jewelry. And I loved it because she wore a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. She'd have some plastic stuff and then yeah. she'd have some fashion jewelry and then she had a bit of real too. She just really embraced very ex extravagant jewelry. And I think that's why I personally gravitate towards big jewelry pieces. Oh. I like big pieces. No, me too. Yeah. Now, here's something else I want to address because a lot of people think, well, you know, no, this is not me. I'm actually speaking for Tori here. They think, well, I, I'm, I'm too too petite. You know, I only wear little teeny rings. Mm -hmm. What do you say to people who believe that? That's a myth. Don't believe it. I mean, I, I think <laughs> I have pretty petite hands and I wear big cocktail rings all the time. I mean, I think they just do so much. Little rings, I think, should be safe for your wedding ring. Leave that's it right. there. The big bold ring should be on every other finger. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> and this, you know, this ring is two-year-old tested and three-year-old approved. You know, my kids, <laughs> I'm with the wear and tear of bathing the kids, making food for the kids all day long. I'm telling you, this one, it's proven. It never swivels around. It stays upright. And there they are, too. Look There's at them. There's my babies. <gasps> They're They're growing up so fast. Isn't that ridiculous? Oh, my God. They were skiing. We went skiing. They're best friends, though. Look at this, too. Oh, my God. And they are trouble with a capital T together. Are they really? Oh, yeah, are they? It's like a hot mess. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you got to keep one eye on them all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the other thing, too, having children, and this is where I love. Tori, when I first met her, I'm thinking, oh, Tori Spelling, my goodness. She is so practical and down to earth. You don't have any prongs. Thank you. Oh, because yeah. what does it get hooked on? Mittens, gloves. Ruins everything. You know, get scratched oh, by it so yeah. this, you can really have that beautiful kind of great chic style without having to forego you know